Hey guys, how's it going? I got myself a little mini lathe here, 7x10. If you can see, this is a Husqvarna 372 cylinder I got chucked up in the lathe. Pretty nifty. Can you guess what this is? <laughs> it's a fixture to hold it. This is actually a tailpipe expander. <laughs> Works pretty good, huh? I checked, I got this idea from Bell Hopper on his channel. I said, let's just see what happens. I just rubbed my tool here, spun it, it almost rubbed all the way around. So it's got to be true within at least one, maybe two thou. Pretty good. Pretty doggone good. Check this out. Fixture. Just stuff I had laying around. Can you guess what this is? This is actually an end plate out of this, this impact gun here. Ingersoll Rand 261. It's actually the first thing I poured it. This thing works pretty good. It says it's got 1,100 foot pounds, but I think she got more. I got this free years ago because uh, Mac guy gave it to me. It was all rusted and it was all froze up. I fixed it. And this here is the first piece I cut today on the mini lathe. Fix. I trued it up, fixed it. It's not shot anymore. I'll use it for this. Works pretty doggone good. This is a three quarter ten bolt nut. Um, I actually just drilled a hole through the bolt, put it through here, and uh, it's a bushing I made. Works pretty good. I tried it. <laughs> Works good. Yeah, I used to be a, a machinist 10 years ago, and I did it for four years. I was actually pretty good at it, and um, the supervisor I had was an, was an a-hole. Well, I take it back. The first supervisor I had for the first two years, he was good. Had a, It was nice, nice going to work. Then when they switched to the other guy, because there, there was other problems, and so they switched to this other guy. This guy was a big a-hole always trying to get me fired because he was always mad because I could figure my way out of a problem. He put me on a job that my skill level wasn't supposed to do. I'd figure it out and man he would get mad because he wanted me to get fired. That's a whole nother story. But I'll tell you this one. This is this is good. This is awesome. I was running a lathe. The, the big chuck was being used. A 24 inch uh, four jaw chuck and there was a piece of aluminum it needed cut. It was about 20 inch in diameter, real jagged corners on it, about, I don't know, inch and a half thick. Pretty heavy piece of material. He wanted me to hold that up with tailstock pressure and take a quarter inch depth of cut. I says, dude, that's going to fly out of the lathe, dude. That, I don't feel safe. And all the other guys, they were listening. And the supervisor's like, you do what I tell you to do. I says, okay. I chucked it up. He was standing right there. And uh, made sure it was a quarter inch depth of cut. I hit the feed lever. I jumped way back because I knew that piece was coming out. of. I knew it was coming out of the lathe. It friggin' flew out of there. And everybody's like, ah, ha, 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 Ken's right. Yep. I dealt with that every day. It was all kind of stuff like that. It was either punch him in the mouth or quit. Because it ain't it's not worth it. I just quit. So that's a whole nother story. But this impact, like I said, this first gun I ported works pretty good. Ingersoll ran 261. This bad boy here. 2161 XP. Pretty powerful. You'd have the right air for it. I just got quarter inch fittings now because that's what I have right now. I did have bigger ones, but my line shot. Oh, this bad boy. Ingersoll ran 293. It's another one. This was going in the scrap pile. 2,000 foot pounds, 1,000 to 1,600 foot pounds of work and torque. The bearing was shot. They were throwing it out. I figured I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> Put a bearing in it. Seal kit. Works pretty good. 
needs an anvil's getting wore out in here a little bit, but uh, other than that, it works pr real powerful. Well, I'm showing you this. I got this. I might do this on a channel for fun. I actually got another one of these. I'll cut the end plates on the lathe. This is a uh, end plate out of this 2161 XP. I cut it. It needs trued up a little wee more. This is like hardened steel. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be cutting it on this lathe, but it cut it. So I guess it made the lathe worthy. And uh, just cut the end plates in here, do that on my channel for fun, get this gun working again, and uh, be good as new. Yep. So, okay guys, till next time, keep feeling the heat.